Hi, I'm Zarar from Raptors Republic. Today we're going to look at some different types of defenses that Nick Nurse threw at the Boston Celtics in Game 4. A lot has been made about the trickery of Nick Nurse, but as you look at it, it's actually not that complicated. It's fairly simple basketball. It's just variations of the same goddamn thing. Let's call this one a 1-2-2 zone, and I'll explain why. Fred is the one here. He's at the top of the key. He's playing man defense against the ball handler. So he's not really playing zone defense. He's just part of the zone defense. The two guys in the middle, Siakam and Ibaka, are playing zone defense. Notice they're not covering their man straight up. They're covering the area near the top of the key. So that's the zone that they're guarding. And then you have the two other guys, OG and Norm. Norm, I believe, is playing uh, man-to-man, but I could be wrong. He could be just guarding that area. But OG definitely looks to be playing more zone defense because he's not tight against Brown. So whatever you want to call it, it is it is a look that the Raptors threw at the Celtics, which is uh, which is why some of the questions being asked are, did the Raptors throw many different looks? They did. I don't know exactly what they're called, but it's small variations of the same thing. It's really who did what when. So here's another look. Again, I don't know what it's officially called, but the key thing to notice here is that Kemba Walker always has somebody on him man to man. First in this possession, it was Fred. And then when the switch happened, it became OG. Fred is in the zone because he's guarding that top left area of your of your screen. And no matter who's there, it's Fred's job to guard him. First, it was uh, Kemba, and then it was Tatum. So the Celtics did a good job here of switching and exploiting the zone by creating the big and big on small uh, mismatch. I want to run this back so you guys look at Siakam on this play. Look how far deep into the paint he's extended. That entire baseline area is his zone. And you cannot do that with every player. That's Siakam's length and speed that allow Nick Nurse to deploy that option. Like he's basically saying, Siakam, you got that entire area and I trust you to guard it. And you can't do that with any player. That's that's special. This is another variant of a zone defense. Uh, you'll notice that all these are very, very similar with just minor nuances. Uh, in this one, the strategy seems to be that if Jason Tatum has the ball, make sure to cover him in man-to-man. -man. If he doesn't, then it's okay to play zone for his defender. In this case, his defender is OG Ananobi, who's covering him in the block. OG's actually playing zone. And as soon as Tatum goes to the perimeter, Lowry, who is in a zone, goes and switches to man-to-man -man defense against Tatum. As you can see, it's a very small variation against what we've already seen, but some of these things add up and cause a lot of confusion for uh, offenses. So I picked this play because I couldn't figure out what was going on. Uh, if you look at Siakam, who is he guarding? Is he guarding Smart? Nope, he just lets him go past him. Is he guarding Walker? Doesn't look like it. Oh, the shot missed. Is he guarding Jalen Brown? But he's contesting his shot. Who knows? It kind of looks like Siakam is in this free safety role uh, and he's able to do whatever he wants. Again, if you use this as a consistent defensive strategy, it's not going to work because the Celtics will catch on. But if you throw this play out there in the mix out of like a normal man-to-man -man defense and, and one of the plays you're doing this, it does throw a little bit confusion for the offense. And, uh, and that's what Nick Nurse is relying on. And if you're wondering why I've frozen this on this particular frame, it's because Jalen Brown actually had a pretty good play here. But because of the helter-skelter defense the Raptors have, he just missed uh, Tice right there for a wide-open dunk. This is a 2-3 zone with two guys playing man-to-man uh, -man defense at the top, I think. But the three guys at the bottom are definitely playing zone defense. And Tice comes in and beats it fairly easily by going into that baseline corner and hitting the jumper. Notice that Ibaka isn't even contesting the shot. His responsibility is to prevent that painted area from being exploited. So he's pretty comfortable with Tice taking that shot. And sometimes you just got to live with the outcome. There you have it, the zone defense demystified. As you can see, these things are not that complicated, but sometimes the way people talk about these things on TV make them sound more complicated than they actually are. Anyways, that's it for me. Do hit the subscribe button, and if you have any specific requests that you'd like us to cover, leave them in the comment section or email us at raptorsrepublic at gmail.com. Goodbye.